Hi there, this is ICB Tutorials, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to type any accent on Chromebooks, Latitudes, and Windows 8. Before I get started, um, make sure to like the video and subscribe, and I'll get started. Okay, first I'm going to show you how to type accents on a Chromebook. So first, click over here, and you are going to click the settings. I'm going to type in a search keyboard. and it came up right here keyboard and I'm going to click on that so you have some settings down here so now we're going to go down here and click change language and input settings so input method there are different methods you can use and you can enable some of them the ones that I have enabled are um, US keyboard, US international keyboard, and for some reason Canadian. I don't remember doing that. Um, but the one you're going to want to do is US Canadian, or sorry, US international, because um, this one will allow you to type all accents for any languages, not just Spanish or French or um, any other language. So you can click on it here. And once you do, you'll see down here at NT or INTL for international. And you can actually change between keyboards by pushing control space. So but I'm gonna go on international. So that's how I change from US to international. So you will want to change back and forth, but it's simple, just push control space. So now here is how you can um type an accent. So if you want a grave accent, you can first push the apostrophe key, then whatever letter you want. So I can push A, then I can do E, yeah, hopefully that's not blurry, but, and I can do I, and there's even some other letters that may not be that common, like I can do that for S, for M, for W. Uh, I don't really know what languages um, use that, but as you can see, I can type that. But you can also um, type um, reversed accents, or reversed um, graves, by pushing the back tick tilde key. Oh, sorry. And then whatever letter you want. So I can do A, E, I. You can um, add, oh, sorry, that's not what I want. The two dots over a letter by pushing shift and then the apostrophe key, which will get those two, and then whatever letter you want. So A, I, U, any like that. And then you, ah, I pushed that again. Um, then you can do circumflex by pushing shift 6 and you'll get the um, caret key um, over the 6 and first you push that then push what letter you want so A E and like French and Portuguese might use some of these and even you can do J that's Esperanto and then W and some other ones but um, that's how you can do that and then the tilde key, just push shift back tick, and then you you can get an N, you can get an A, E, ones like that. Now to get um, ligatures, such as um, A, E, and O, E ligatures, um, I did make another video about that already, but just um, there's no way to do that using the international keyboard, as far as I know. 
you have to type in um, a certain key combination for this to work. So for the AE ligature, you can push Control Shift U. Oops, I must have not done that right. And then you'll see a U that's underlined. Then you type in E6 and then push Enter. Then you get AE. For the OE, Control Shift U. Um, then push one five three, and then you get it. There's lots of other ones you can do. Like for example, if I do two o two o, I get like a cross. And and for the uppercase ones, I cannot think of them off the top of my head. But you can search um, a e uppercase a e ligature Unicode. That's what that that's called Unicode, and it should come up for what you have to type in after you push Control Shift U. So, um, that is for the Chromebook. Here is how to get accents on a um, Latitude Windows Dell computer. So, this is probably close to the same as the Toshiba or Toshiba Windows um, 8 computer that I will do in the next part of the video, but um, I'll show both. So first what you're going to want to do um, is go, th there's other ways you can do it, like you can um, type alt codes. So here's some alt codes, like you type alt, um, like 0205 to get that uppercase I with the accent, but it's a little bit tricky on this computer because if you noticed, anytime you type alt codes, you have to use the number pad over to the right, but for this computer, oh, there's not one. So you see these small blue numbers on the keys, you have to actually push FN, alt, and then the numbers, but the problem with this is that if you push 4 or 7, and like if any of the alt codes have 4 or 7, it um, X's out the tab. So that's just something, maybe maybe um, there's a different way you can do that, but I don't like using the alt codes on this computer because, for example, um, when I try to do this lowercase uh, I it has 2, 3, 7, but when I do that it will X out a tab because I'm pushing 7. So there, that must be some other combination that happened to have the same key um, pad, but here's what you're going to want to do. Um, oh, I don't, that mouse isn't even connected. So first click um, over here, or just push this button, and um, scroll down to the settings, or sorry, that's actually right here. So I'm on the settings now. So I'm going to go to um, time and language. And I'm going to click language now. And here are preferred languages. So here are three preferred languages that I have on here. English, Espanol for Spain, and Frisk. Now, don't know what Frisk is or why it's on there. Uh, sorry about that. But you can add a preferred language, and there is a very long list of lots of different languages so, like, you have Dutch, Nederland, Belgi, um, you have some Arabic, Chinese languages, and um, Estonian, Faroese, there, there's a whole bunch, um, and they're in alphabetical order. But um, if you're using Spanish, you probably want to click on Spain, because the accents are the most simple for this. Now, these are different than international keyboard for the Chromebook because it's based off of what keyboard they actually use in that country. So, if I clicked on this one, Espanol for um, Paraguay, it will change my computer keyboard to a Paraguay keyboard. Basically, like, even if this looks like it's a U key, it might change to maybe a Y but it's not obviously going to physically change to where you can see it, but you'll just have to remember that. But that I would use um, Spain, but I already clicked on it. So now 
after you do that, there will be some letters down here that you can click on. So I'm going to click on um, Spanish. Now all you have to do is kind of the same thing as the Chromebook, and you can push the apostrophe key and then A, and then there you go. If you see, it is now accented A. And you can do the same thing like this. Or sorry, actually that's not how it is on here. For this, on a normal Spanish, um, Spain keyboard, the, the Ñ key, which is the end with the tilde, is right here. So even though this looks like a colon and semicolon key, that makes the N. And uh, to get the U with the two dots on it, which is sometimes in Spanish, um, you just have to push shift and then apostrophe and then it's there. But you will notice that you're probably going to want to change back into English by clicking down here because if you like, some of the keys are different for shift. So like, you see this is an open parenthesis, but when I do that now, it's a closed parenthesis and that's because it um, shifted down. So that's the reason why that happened. But anyways, that is how you do it on a um, Windows um, Latitude computer. And even though I chose um, Spanish for the example, you could do the same for French. And just look up a French keyboard. So if it's for France, just look it up. And you can see where the keys are laid out, and then you'll know what buttons to push. So I have my Windows 8 computer, and I'm going to be honest, I don't usually type accents on here, so let's see how to do this. I'm pretty sure it's probably going to be the same as the, um, that was thing, um, the computer I just did, but let's see what happens. I'm sure it, it will have to be in the settings, so let's go over here and clicking on that, it's not doing anything somehow. I don't know what's happening. You see, I'm clicking on yeah. Oh, now that search just went away. Sorry about this. Let me fix this. Oh, push. There we go. Now I'm going to click settings just like I did for the other computer. I think it's just running a little slow today. So... Okay, there we go. So now I have my settings open and it's taking a second. Okay, I'm going to now click on um, Time Language. It's the same thing I clicked on for the other computer that was also um, Windows. Clicked on it, it's loading, I guess. Now I'm going to, let's see, it is, let me click language. Okay. Okay, so it looks like it's the same. So I'm going to add preferred language. Um, since I did Spanish last time, let me just add a different one. Um, how about Danish? Next. Install. So I had to click install. And there we go. We have Dansk. Dansk. Um, now I'm going to click over here. I see that ENG. And now I'm going to click um, Dan for Danish. And now I'm just going to practice by typing in here. I don't know what a Danish keyboard exactly looks like, but I know that they use um, like the AE ligature. So there we go. We got that um, A with the dot on top of it. I got that by pushing this bracket key. I, I'm pushing, let's see what happens when I push this one. Oops. Now I'm pushing. Okay, so that, it just did those two dots, so I guess that's how you can get two dots over a letter. Now I'm going to push this, and let's see. Okay, that's how I got the AE. And then this, yep, it's that, um, oh, with the slash through it. So, there you go. That's how you can get a language on a Windows 8.